In this video, I want to explain some workarounds and alternatives to the Realtor Affiliated MLS. Now we're starting on this page because this just gives you a written explanation, but I'm not going to read it. I'm just starting here and I'll show you some different websites. Now keep in mind, you can access the Realtor Affiliated MLS and have a relationship in which you pay for MLS access, but you're not a realtor. And that's typically done by either <clears throat> joining the, or, or I should say paying the Association of Realtors for an MLS only membership, not a realtor membership, but just an MLS only, and that will give, give you MLS access. And in some areas, they'll require you to just contact the MLS directly to be a MLS member only. Now, there are two ways to look at this. One is at, as the, from the perspective of a listing agent. The other is from the perspective of a buyer's agent. So let's start with the perspective of a buyer's agent. If you're a buyer's agent, I would ask you, why do you need MLS access to represent a buyer? That's a question I'll throw out there because we're starting at realtor.com because I use this all the time. I actually use the app on my phone. And this is all data from the MLS. So the MLS, the Realtor Affiliated MLS that covers a territory, <clears throat> is funneling, is feeding all this data into dozens, over 100 websites. And then these websites like Realtor.com create a consumer interface that shows you all the MLS data. Now I use Realtor.com because I have their app, I like their format for a few personal reasons. But think of Zillow, Zillow's the big one, right? Here's something interesting about Zillow, and Zillow is not the only one. If I scroll down here, and again, this is all MLS data. This is all the data from the MLS. It's so much data that it even includes, even includes the buyer's agent commission, buyer agency compensation right here. So when you see all of this, including how much the cooperating broker fee is, in this case, there's a 2% co-op, you have to ask yourself, what what is on the MLS that isn't publicly available? The answer is just showing remarks and agent private remarks. But you can get those as a buyer's agent by just contacting the listing agent. You just look up who the agent is, not the Zillow agent, but the actual agent. And then you just simply reach out to that, that listing agent and you ask. You ask to show it, you let them know that you, so it tells you right here at the very top. You contact that listing agent and you tell them you have a buyer and you want to schedule a showing, how do you do it? And you set it up and that's it. And by the way, since you can see that cooperating broker compensation, if and when you make an offer, you should include a, 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 a form on there with your offer that confirms your commission. California, it's a form CBC. It's a whole nother topic, but okay, let's jump over to Redfin. now. Redfin's nice, not only because they have a very nice consumer interface for MLS data, but again, right here, it tells you buyer's agent commission, two and a half percent, right up front. Everything anyone would wanna know, in including this TMI, which is really between agents, between brokerages, but hey, it's publicly available now. So do you really need a an MLS membership to represent a buyer? The answer is no, it's all right here. You even know how much that agent's offering. By the way, Redfin, I've tested this, I've inputted listings and I've checked which of all these syndicated consumer sites that offer listing searches, which one updates the fastest. And Redfin has always been the fastest. Of course, I'm splitting hairs here because I mean, it's a matter of minutes and at the most, maybe a few hours, but Redfin seems to, I don't know what it is, but their data seems to populate, any change in the MLS populates fastest on Redfin site. Now, this is what we're talking about here relates to being a buyer's agent, buyer's representative, because you can see it all here, your client, your client will likely find it. That's, that's the other thing. Buyers typically find the listings and then they tell their agent, hey, I wanna see this one. Hey, I wanna see that one. The majority of the time, Buyers are finding their own listings because a buyer is spending all their free time home shopping. So an agent's not spending as much time as their client is, and this data is publicly available to everyone. So that's why buyers will usually tell their agent, hey, I just found a new one that came up, can I see it? So do you really need MLS access? The answer is no. Now, as a listing agent, it's different. 
As a listing agent, you should. You, you're doing a disservice to your client if you don't have MLS access, but that doesn't mean you have to be part of the realtor-affiliated MLS. Here's an alternative. I'll jump over here. My state MLS is a nationwide MLS. The difference is this is independent. This isn't part of the realtor MLS monopolized paradigm. This is an independent outside nationwide MLS. Now, I'm going to make the case against my state MLS and then I'll make an, a counter argument to that. The case against this MLS is that because MLS territories are largely monopolized, where do real estate agents look for listings? One place, their local monopolized MLS. That's where everyone looks. They look in one place. So if you're on this alternative MLS in this alternative dimension, are all the realtors and real estate agents in your area looking here or on the monopolized MLS? They're not looking here. Very few would be. That's a problem. Now there's a counterpoint to this and that is, see this feeds here? Feed to Zillow, feed to Trulia, feed to realtor.com, homes. Com. And then listing syndication. And we look at that and it's over 150 websites. You realize that my state MLS, if you publish a listing there, it's going to feed to all these consumer sites. Like what I'm showing you here with realtor.com and with Zillow and with all of them, there's over 150 sites it, it feeds to. So who's finding homes for the most part? Buyers. Buyers are looking. And they're going to see it. They're going to see your listing because it's published to all these consumer sites through my, my state MLS. And then they'll tell their agent, hey, I want to see this. I interviewed buyers that would call into the office for years. And I'd always ask them, hey, just curious, did you end up finding this property or was it your agent that found it? And I'd always hear that, it, that they found it and told their agent about it. <clears throat> now, of course, that is anecdotal. That's just my experience from answering phones in a real estate office for years. But <clears throat> I will say that I can't imagine it not being the majority in the industry because buyers are, they're so proactive when it's for them. They're looking at work. They're looking in the evening. They're looking when they're laying in bed. They're always looking. No agent spending that much time looking for one of their clients. They're not spending every waking minute of their day looking for their clients. So my state MLS is a nice alternative because you can, as a listing agent, still get the same publicity of all the consumer sites since this data is syndicated, similar to how all the data that's syndicated from the realtor affiliated MLSs is. So I would say if you are a listing agent, bite the bullet and sign up for a realtor affiliated MLS or go to the alternative nationwide MLS and try my state have your listing syndicated to these consumer sites and there's a chance that your listing that you that may actually increase the probability of you being a dual agent because it's possible a buyer would see that and call you directly if they don't have an agent a lot of buyers like to work with a listing agent because they feel like there's one less link in the chain to communicate with the seller i don't necessarily agree with that but that's just how it works that's the world we're in and the probability of being a dual agent is a little bit higher when your listing's syndicated like that. So a buyer's gonna discover your listing in my state sooner than a real estate agent would because all the real estate agents are looking at the monopolized MLS for their area. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful.